Hey, 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 what's going on, my people? Thank you for tuning in, bro, fair guy, you. And I got a good, good, good video here for you. So, to make this real quick, I want to talk about the high cost of living in the United States, and not just the United States, and many of the uh, more developed countries. And I want to talk about what a lot of people are actually doing right now to address that issue. So I know that, look, this may not necessarily pertain so much to folks who have, uh, you know, families and, and, you know, kids and like extended family that may, that really depend on them being in a, in a, in a close, uh, you know, uh, nearby, close by. This is for folks who, um, who are really just fed up and have the ability to just like let it go and move on. So I just listened to one particular story from a young woman in her 30s. Uh, she uh, lives in New York City. Her rent recently went up uh, uh, last year to $3,500 a month for a one bedroom apartment. Yeah, in Manhattan, $3,500 a month for a one-bedroom apartment. So, her response to that was, well, I'm not staying in New York City. I'm not staying in Manhattan. So, I'm basically going to put all my stuff in storage and buy a one-way ticket to Europe. And that's what she did. And when I heard that story... It reminded me of myself, where I was, when I decided I was going to move to the Dominican Republic full time, uh, there was no way uh, I, would, I, I was going to, you know, let anything get in my way from that, from making that move. So what did I do? Exactly what that lady just said. I put everything in my storage, and I put everything in storage, and I brought. I only had a few items with me, and and I moved to where uh, I didn't have to pay so much in rent, uh, and even there was some nights where I slept on couches or, or spare beds or whatever, and. I stayed on that track, even though it was very uncomfortable, even though uh, uh, it, it was a little longer than what I wanted to. In the end, I made it here, uh, living my best life here. So, I think, and hearing that story, and, and, and constantly I'm talking to folks and I'm hearing similar stories, I think it's really important that for those folks out there who are in the position where they really, really uh, are just fed up with the increase of cost of living, uh, fed up with uh, the system that is that's making it harder for people to, to actually get by. Don't be afraid to make that move. Don't be afraid to be like, you know what? I'm going to put everything in storage and... I'm taking a one-way trip to Europe or a one-way trip to Asia, a one-way trip to some other country where it's cheaper and work remotely. Because a lot of jobs out there, honestly, you cannot work remote. I mean, you got to actually be there, which is understandable. But there are a lot of remote work opportunities out there. In addition, a lot of folks have a job that would allow remote work, remote work if you actually push for it. Uh, there are many ways to push for it. Uh, there are many loopholes to push for it. We now live in a um, in a in a world post pandemic where a lot of the uh, infrastructure is out there for remote work. So definitely, definitely, definitely consider it. Uh, look at your situation. If you're in a position of that, that young lady or so many other people who are pay, who are paying crazy amounts of money, 
uh, for for rent or for uh, hell mortgage or wherever wherever you live at, and you want to just get away and, and escape all that, it's possible. I am a prime example because I'm look I'm a regular dude with a regular job with a regular money, and I made it happen, and. A lot of other folks have done it with far less uh, resources. So consider it. Consider it. You don't have to continue paying, you know, two thousand, three thousand dollars a month for for rent. You don't have to. You don't have to. You have options. So that's all I wanted to say. One more thing I forgot to mention. A lot of folks. Talk about, well, I got a kid, or I have kids. Well, I can tell you this, specifically in the Dominican Republic, a lot of people move here with their kids. Uh, you'll find that, you know, you'll see uh, a couple with multiple kids move here. Um, I uh, know of a couple with three kids that moved because... They wanted to save money. Both parents work remotely, and that gives them the ability to essentially triple their 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 income by moving here. Be able to put those kids in the best private schools uh, that the uh, country has to offer, and live a good live a good life. Uh, I, I personal guy, army vet. He uh, moved here with his son, and um, he moved here with his son. His son goes to one of the best private schools in the area, living his best life. I know a woman who moved here with her, I don't know if she had a son or daughter, but it, it was uh, about, um, I think about like 10 years old, something like that. She moved here. Uh, for, for cost of living because it was crazy expensive in the U.S. Moved here, she works remotely. Uh, put her child in the best, one of the best private schools. Living the best life. So it is definitely something possible if you have kids. Uh, don't, don't think that it's not an option if you have kids. Uh, of course, I know that when you have, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, father or mother, and you join custody and all that stuff, and you know things get complicated. You know that's understandable, but you have options, so don't ensure that you explore your options. Ensure that you explore your options. Talk to people who are already here, boots on the ground. I can give you the information. Um, and don't be afraid to make that move. So I'm telling you, I, I made the move. So many others made the move. And I can tell you, and, many, and not just me, don't, don't take it from me. Many people will tell you that it's one of the best decisions they ever made in their life is to make that move. So just want to put it out there. If you have any questions, let me know. Comment, like, subscribe. Peace.